Hey, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make bases like the ones in the track Change Forever by Galaxy. So this is the original track. And this is my creation. Without the drums. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dnbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so the three main layers behind this recreation is first a sub with this really cool staff in the middle of that sub. And then this response bass. And then just the break that I sampled from the original track. And that's it. So now let's get into the creation of these two sounds. Let's begin with this one and then let's go into this one. So first for the sub, this is going to be really simple. Uh, here I have an initialist patch. I'm going to load a sine wave. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to load a harmonic number three and five to the point where it kind of squarifies the waveform. So as you can see, if I balance three, five, and one in a specific way, we kind of get a squarified sine wave. And, and this is great because as you can see, the sub will spend most of its time in its loudest level. And the harmonics that it contain are not invading other ranges of other sounds. So this is great. This is a super nice sub. Uh, then I'm just going to normalize this waveform. And here we have the sub. So now I'm just going to boost the master and just basically boost it until um, it starts to distort and then bring it back. And this is the loudest sub that we can get uh, while being the cleanest. So yeah, this will be the sub. Now let's go into the next sound, which will be the stab. Okay, so this sound is a little bit elaborate, but it's very simple in terms of the waveforms that it uses. It's just two saw waves. One is going to be two octaves up. If you set it up like this, you should be getting this sound. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring the level of oscillator A a little bit lower, turn on the noise oscillator, and then turn on the filter with a high pass with a 24 decibel per octave reduction, like that. We're going to route B through it, and then we're going to boost the track. You should be getting that sound right there. Let's bring the cutoff down. And now what we're going to do is we're going to load the tube distortion, boost it all the way up, like that. Turn on a multiband compressor, also boost it. Turn on an EQ and set it on a low pass, something like this. And this is basically all the harmonics of the sound. Now you can just experiment with different combinations of these harmonics. As I usually say in a lot of uh, videos. And then I'm just going to show you the post processing of how we can turn this sound into the really cool stabby wobble thing. So let's jump into that. So once you have the sound, it's very simple. I'm just going to high pass it because we don't want it to clash with the sub, which will be this one right here. Let me delete the recreation. And then for this one, what we're going to do is I'm going to use kilohertz filter. You can use any filter. You can do this inside of Serum. The reason why I did this is because I can show you exactly the type of modulation that you should be looking for. Something like this. It's just a very simple wobble like that. And then we're going to add some reverb and then just EQ it like that. Now. You can go back to any step of this uh, process and change something like the octave uh, or even the wavetable. 
At this point, really, it's just fine tuning whatever sounds good in your track. So let's just mix this a little bit lower. Let's bring this down. As you can see, now it's kind of a fine tuning stage where we are just going to be um, selecting w exactly which harmonics uh, fit or track the best. I'm just going to add some reverb. As you can see, any change here can be very significant and very cool. Uh, so yeah, this is it for this bass. Now let's talk about this second bass. Okay, so for the second bass, this is a very important thing that I have to tell you. I'm holding a C sharp one. It's important that you hold this note if you really want it to sound the same in terms of the harmonics. For the other sounds, we were holding a G sharp zero. But for this one, we're going to use C sharp one, which would be, I believe, five semitones above G sharp, which is really cool in terms of harmonics. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to load sine waves on each oscillator. And this sine wave, the second one of oscillator B, we're going to bring it one octave and seven semitones up. And then we're simply going to use an LFO into the level. And we're going to create a shape that is similar to this. And of course, we need to uh, add the correct rhythm, rhythm which would be uh, eighth notes that are dotted, which means that the length of this LFO is one eighth note plus half an eighth note, which sounds like this. If this was a normal eighth note, it'll be like that. But in this case, it's just one eighth note uh, dotted. Cool. Uh, I'm going to bring this down. And then I'm simply going to add some distortion, mostly the drive here. Just like that. I'm going to bring the highs a little bit up. And then we're going to add the noise. Now we can either add the noise here and then filter it. For example, with a bandpass, we can filter the noise here. And then modulate the level. Just like that. And you can experiment a lot with that. But how I did it is I actually used erosion, which I have right here. And that's how I made that bass. And that's how I made that bass. Now I'm just going to boost the master a little bit. And that's the final result. And that's it. That's how you make bases like the ones in the track Change Forever by Galaxy. So if you like this video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.